Jones.com. Tried to do this on live stream first, but it's giving me complications. But today's video is an overview on getting started with WordPress. Right now, what everyone's looking at is the WordPress dashboard. When you're getting started with trying to create your web pages, this is the first thing you're going to see. Majority of people, when you first come into WordPress, See, it might not show it over here so i've been doing this for a minute but when you first get started majority of you guys it's going to show like right here in this area of getting started with wordpress my advice is look through every last one of those links and just get a, a visual of what those things are but let's get this started as you guys know like i said this right here is the dashboard you can come down here check out all your different sites if you have multiple sites within the system you come back down here which is your post what you're doing in post is this is basically like your own news feed just like when you're on Facebook and you see the news feed coming down your timeline this is your own personal news feed with anything that comes to your mind that you want to create an article off of it anything consistent with your business or just a topic that came to mind it's your site you can post all of your posts here right here you can look at all posts this is a view of all my posts that i posted so far then you can go add new here or you can click here and add new which is where you go to start a whole new blog post now from here is categories now I'm gonna show you what categories contain the category shows or you can go here and create different categories that you want your post to be in now the importance of putting your post into different categories it makes it easier for those posts to be found on Google, on Yahoo, and Bing with them being in specific type of categories. By default, they have uncategorized here, but always make sure that you take uncategorized out. Matter of fact, right now, I'm about to delete it. Get rid of it. Don't need it. All these other categories are categories of things that I've blogged about, any things I've talked about and so on and so forth this area right here is where you create new ones you type the name of the category if you want to create a slug url for it you can and so on and so forth this is the overview once again of this is the category section of posts we're going to move on to tags give you a brief description now tags what tags do is when people search for certain words certain phrases on google if your tag that you have on a certain post it will boost your post in the google search engine in the bing search engine or in the yahoo search engine right here this is the overview of couple of tags that I use for my post and when you guys get started in here too also and you get the building up tags I'm gonna also show you guys how you present and create the tags for your posts even though you can create them here too also but in your post you can also create these tags and keep these tags asserted with certain posts and you can also come in here and create not just create tags but assign tags to different posts that you already have posted and moving on we're going to move down here to media now in media it's two major things you can do actually more than that but two major things any type of media that you need to be pit on any page that you want to create 
put in any post that you want to be created you can upload all your media here from anything from videos to images different uh pictures uh different ad copy images that you create yourself um anything to pdf files uh ebooks or anything like that that you want to have uh presented through your website so to say you can put all of that here you see i have a long long list of media here this is where you go you click here to add media select here and as you see the browser will go up wherever your media is at that you want to add into it this is where you do that at and now we're going to move on to the next thing which is up oh, nope that was accident we're going to move down here to pages now in pages you have an overview of a list of all the pages that you created you see i have a nice list of pages actually i have 55 pages already published and three pages in draft to be finished if you want to create more pages you go here click here to add new add the title to your page create your page here now in this platform that we have wordpress through the system that i work with we already have a, a assertion of plugins already uh installed into the platform situation of your wordpress word uh, blog site now down here we have what's the instant builder setting where we use this to create this platform down here is used and utilized to create different type of landing pages lead capture pages or video pages and so on and so forth if you come in down here and you're going to use the instant builder to make any type of pages no matter what it is you're going to make sure that you check this box here by checking this box here it will make sure that the page that you create down here and here will be presentable if you don't check that box it's going to be searching for the page to be created within the main uh, editing section of WordPress which this is all you see if you do not have this plugin down here which is InstaBuilder that is installed this is all you see right here now also I'm going to show you guys within this page um, squeeze pages which is basically a lead capture page where you have a page set up to where you can uh, take in someone's email information and so on and so forth to build up leads uh, then you have the mini squeeze page which it's um, it's just basically just a page with only a lead capture in it and something in the background so to say uh, you have a single column page which is basically you can turn it into just like a landing page a sales funnel page so on and so forth and you can create video pages you can have a product launch page also so on and so forth now from that point there I'm going to come down here and you see where the heading is and the fonts different things the same thing as up here if you want to add media into it as you see I come here down here I can click add media it's going to go to my media file and anything in here that I want to apply to a page can be applied to it just by a click now we're going to scroll down here to give you guys a view of this also this here is the SEO processor plugin setting for creating uh making sure not just creating but making sure that your page can be found in search engines and also um, adding the title and description to it for when it shows up in search engines when it shows up in social media as a facebook and twitter everything that you put here when you take the link from this page and post it on social media it's it's going to be within your description it's going to be within uh the title of whatever you make the title is that's what's going to show up when you post this on social media 
and we're gonna move on from here I'm not gonna try to keep this video too long I'm gonna try to keep this real short and brief um, we're gonna come down here to comments and within comments these are all the comments that people post on your your post that people basically pit on anything that you posted in your post your posts are the only things that can be uh, commented on by outside sources and this is where you also can come and either unapprove or approve a, a comment on your post reply to it quick edit it edit it uh, market it spam or trash it moving on from here we're going to come down here to appearances now here you see in the appearance box we have themes we have customized widgets menu and background first off we're going to go here checking themes now normally here in themes right now we're still in progress of updating the system there's only one theme here right now now within this system once we get this upgraded a little bit there will be going to be four more themes inside here you're going to see four more themes but within this area right here you can still do customized widgets menus or background which is all the other options here and all of that consists of what you will be doing to this theme. now also within this theme, okay we say we see customize you go to customize not sure if this is going to show the full visual of my page but um let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope it does well right now it's not showing it normally there would be a visual of my page right here and over here in this section what you can do you can change the site logo which um this is basically just the image within my heading instead of uh words being typed in there i have a a, a basically a banner uh go back from there social media icons all the different uh links for all your social media icons and everything can be posted and tagged right into here uh your email address and everything so on and so forth can be put right into here which will give people a direct access from your site to everything else that you have um select effect yeah we have a uh, tile slide da, 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 da. auto play speed in seconds you know it's for the slider show if you decide to put a video slider on the top of your page this is where you will um, basically set up the settings for it uh, then back here different colors um, all the different colors within the theme how it looks background colors so on and so forth uh, here you would do background images where you see I have my image placed in here uh, post how it looks in the background will it be centered uh, scroll fixed so on and so forth go back out of here uh, menus where you can uh, basically go into your menus customize the link URL, customize the attributes, description, so on and so forth, right here. And now, do, 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 do you see we have all the menus here? Everything that's in my menu is right here. All my different pages and links, which I'll be changing this tonight, actually. Now, we go back, go back one more time. And then we have widgets. Now you see here it says there are no widget areas currently rendered in the preview. Navigate in the preview to a template that makes a use of a widget area in order to access its widgets here. For you to do all the that, close that out. Just wanted to go over that just to show you because boom, right here, right after that, we go to widgets. For you to do all your customizing for your widgets, everything right here you see in sidebar right, or if you put in sidebar alt page, alt home page, these which you put over here will only show on the home page. These right here will show on every page. 
within the widgets you see we have uh you have an archive widget calendar custom menu categories uh insta builder countdown insta builder embedded video insta builder pop-ups so on and so forth you know sidebar opt-in we have so many different options layout builder viral download pages so on and so forth so on so on recent posts just keeps going keeps going keeps going and all the way down to here now from here we're going to move on to menus now what the menu is i don't know if you guys you guys getting didn't get to see it but um on your page when you see on a website that link that shows all the uh links to all your different pages that's basically presented on the front page of your site these are this, this is the section where you do most of it what you do in customize it's completely different from what you can do here some of the things that you do in customize to your menu settings you can do here but you can also do more you can right in here you can make uh different posts different categories custom links and so on and so forth and other recent pages that you've created you can go here take these pages and add them to this menu bar also in here you can choose if you have created other menus you can choose which menu would be the primary menu across the top of the screen or another menu or you can take this other menu and put it and create it as a widget you can also uh, manage locations here assign menu that edit that and it brings you back here but you get the gist of it now from here we're going to go to the backgrounds which background is just basically going to give you another look into basically customize which should be here background image all over again so we can hurry up and come back out of here now from appearance we're going to go and look at plugins we have the install plugins or site origin widgets I'm going to go here to install plugins first. As you see, I have a few uninstalled plugins that I have not activated yet because I'm still in the process of uh, figuring out which ones I want to actually use. And then also, um, some of these plugins are already uh, activated within the background settings of this platform of this site. So there's no need moving on we're going to go check out this site origin widgets now site origin widgets as you see in the bundle it's a process of different buttons but a button you have a call to action you have a contact form you have editor futures google maps so on and so forth headlines the list just goes on now what this is right here it's just basically a way to um assert different uh attributes into one plugin this is actually just one plugin that have different attributes um all embedded into one plugin and you can go into here just like all the other plugins and activate different attributes or disable different attributes that are offered within this one plugin now moving on we're going to go to users within users it just shows okay who's running the site the administrator da, 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 that's me i can edit here or whatever i can edit any of my information inside there i can add new or i can check my profile Right from here, let's move on. Let's move on. We have tools. We have the available tools, which we're going to take a look at. And the available tools, we have the press this. 
install press this now i'm really just now getting the gist of press this as you see here it says press this is a little tool that lets you grab bits of web and create new posts with ease so i'm just now like i said i'm just now getting adjusted this i just really started trying to use this so really not going to get too deep into that right now but on top of that out of the available tools we also can come down here to import now what import is if you have a current site you okay if you have posts or comments in another system wordpress can import those into this site to get started choose a system to import from the door. okay but no i don't i don't know under it's not showing anything right now but you can come here say you have uh files from another website that you previously had and you want to upload those files into here say if you have it uh, in an xml file because uh everything through wordpress works through xml files with uh import and export you can import those files directly into here and have a head start on building your site now what export is basically it gives you the power to take all of your files from out of this site and a whole and download everything from here to have this information or all these files backed up into a site format for yourself or to go in if you know anything about development or um coding or anything you can take that file and go and make changes to the thing or anything else within that site that you want to change now you have delete site which we're not going to click on that we're not trying to go there then you have domain mapping also in tools this domain mapping is not in every wordpress site as you see here it says that this site was originally this this is the original site name i bought another domain name and i'm mapping it directly to here and this is set as my primary domain name if i wanted to add another domain name to this excuse me excuse me excuse me if i wanted to add another domain name to this i could but we're not going to do anything like that and you come down here to settings you see we have general writing reading discussion media permalinks mailchimp page builder uh share buttons by add this we're going to start from the top general you see general this is basics site title tagline see my title here is carlion jones i mean that's who i am uh create lifestyle freedom online presence developer for development online presence development now also this is where you can place your email address where you want all your information to come to uh set the time zone that you are in your time format date format uh week starts on so on and so forth excuse me this is where all that place now here in writing it's just convert emoticons like to graphics on display default post category you can change it here if you want to uh, default post format you can change it here if you want to um, WordPress should correct in uh, invalidly nested X H T M L automatically uh, matter of fact I'm going to check that right now save changes and i can go down here to reading now in the reading section this determines um your static page settings what you want to be your front page um you can create what your post page should be you can also 
assert how many different uh, blog posts can be shown on that page at a time. Oh, excuse me. You have 10 items in the most recent for each article in the feed show either full text or a summary. Search engine visibility, this right here, you really do not want to check. If you check this, your site will not repeat, will not be seen on search engines. So if you want to be noticed on search engines, this right here is what you will always neglect. Never forget. Moving on. Here in discussions is... Basically, uh, what like default article sec uh, section, author, well, other comments, settings. You have the email me whenever settings. Basically, what anyone posts a comment, a comment is held for moderation, so on and so forth. All these different attributes are different things that will be either emailed to you or filtered in a however you prefer you also scroll down a little bit further you see you can change your uh basically your avatar for when you make comments back to people on your different posts moving on media now in the settings section of media you can control what size the thumbnails are you can control uh, basically the size settings for all your pictures, the maximum size required for all your pictures, so on and so forth. Save the changes and I'm not going to spend too much time on that. We're moving on. Now here is permalinks. Uh, most people leave it at plain. Uh, I changed it to day and name because um, this right here is the permalink settings for your post, not your pages. This is the permalink section for your post. And the reason why I put it a day and name is because it it's easier for not just for me to find it by knowing when I made the post, but it's also letting me know what post I made at that day. So however you feel comfortable, you can go numeric, post name, whatever. I'm not saying that everyone should have to do it how I do it, however you prefer. And from here, we're moving on. Here's the next thing in the settings. And here we have an um, awesome, awesome plugin called MailChimp, which is used for my email auto responding from my site. As you see here, through these, I really don't have that many subscribers right now. But I'm working on that. But I also have other plugins that I uh, opt in forms that I created directly through MailChimp. So um, I actually do have more subscribers in this. But these are just the people who subscribe through these certain uh, opt ins. Now, these opt ins right here that you see in this list are actually asserted as um, widgets on the side of my website. So you see free ebooks, uh, Rich Dad, Mastermind, the popover, uh, more info. All of those widgets are asserted within uh, my page, uh, within my About Me page, my home page, uh, any of my other pages that are created as uh, basic static pages or in congruence with the parent page. Um, from here, if you wanted to, you can go and edit. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now, but you can go here and edit. Now, where you go and edit, um, even though everything is monitored through the MailChimp plugin, when you go here for edit, I'll just give you guys a brief show one time. When you go here to edit these, it funnels you over to MailChimp. Well, it's actually MailMunch. Funnels you over to Mail Munch, and you can go here and assert all the different changes to it that you want. 
as you see I'm gonna start from the beginning thing message here's my message image uh, this is the success screen for when you opt in um, coloration so on and so forth what all the different fields these are the fields um, where do I want people to be redirected to when they opt in into this redirect from here now matter of fact you know what I'm glad I came here I'm going to change that I'm definitely going to change that right now for the first time you guys you know get to see me do some major changes to one of my opt-ins real fast as soon as this pops up I'm going to change this link because the system has actually been upgraded I'm going to come here copy this Integration should be integrated with my MailChimp listing. No, nope, don't need to do all that. Publish. Now, from here, we're going to come down here and give you guys an overview of the settings and page builder. Now the page builder right now showing the site origin page builder. This is just a responsive layout check. Make sure that's enabled. Uh, use tablet layout. Uh, hmm, collapse columns differently on tablet device. Yeah, you want to check that too. Also, I don't know why I didn't have that checked before. Mobile with 780 tablet with. No, that's wrong. This should be five sixty. Now here you see we can do changing how the page responds on different devices. You can go and you can determine uh, how the widget's going to turn out looking, the coding setting for them. The general settings, post type, pages, post. Back to layout, we have the content, copy content enabled, so on and so forth. And moving on. Down to the share button would add this. Add this plugin is basically just a way for when you create your your different blog posts on your site or you create certain pages if you want those pages to be shared by others you enable this sharing button above content or you can either share button below content share sidebar which how I have my settings set up you can choose for mobile sharing toolbar also and place that either at the bottom or the top so on and so forth and you can save that simply as that not instability settings we're going to go and check out the basic instability settings here in instability you have um the powered link 
uh, your license key. If you go and um, you automatically will have a license key already. Hold that. All right, right back at it, people. Right here is where you can basically um, do some of everything. Uh, in the Facebook settings, if you have uh, a Facebook app ID, meaning that, um, like it says here, if you want to use the Facebook integration feature in InstaBuilder, please enter your Facebook application ID here. It gives you a brief description of what the Facebook ID is, actually. If you don't have one, you can create one created here. Became a Facebook developer. That's all it is. Register as a Facebook developer, which I'm going to do right now. Register app ID. Go back here. And then we'll paste it right there. Facebook app secret. So on and so forth with the app secret thing, you can create that here also. Facebook page tab URL, I already have that set. Uh, your discus short name. So on and so forth. Twitter consumer key, Twitter consumer secret. Same thing with Facebook. You can go down through all this right here and get all this information signed in. I'm not about to do all that right now. I'm trying to help and get this done. But um, like you can do a split test. And if you see here with the InstaBuilder, uh, the settings split test is just uh, testing different URLs or your different type of links or conversations. You see, I haven't really actually test it any yet or so on and so forth or if you want to manage a split test you can go here click here and it starts you up which you can name the split you can pick the different pages so on and so forth and what this really does is it just helps you create the difference or making two pages similar in size so on and so forth this right here, if you're really not too up on creating pages and don't really know what this is going to do for you, do not, I repeat, do not deal with this. Now, back to the MailChimp, like we seen earlier, uh, forms and settings. If you go to forms, the MailChimp, this is what you get, what we seen earlier. If you click on settings within the MailChimp, just basically uh auto embedding if you want it to be auto embedded yes or no save settings here now on the seo processor we have settings here also we can click on those settings give you a brief overview of these settings which is really not much but um automatic seo post titles post slugs keywords images links seo so on and so forth this right here in these settings is for your page in a whole. Uh, post slugs. Word to omit. Keywords. Already set images you know links so on and so forth tags they show up here you can have blacklist tags generic tags are already posted there already we're going to save these settings advanced if you have API keys for uh, Bing API or something like that, you can post that here. Requirements, all that's checked off already. 
just a little simple stuff. Plug in updates. It's already been updated. Then we have post pages and score. Now within here, as you see, I haven't really tried to score any of my pages yet, for real. But what this does is when you create your pages or you create posts, you can go into the settings on the side. I'll go back and show you guys where you can uh, basically type in your different tag words and so on and so forth, tag uh, lines, everything. And you can test it and see how radiant those words are and how many times those words are placed into your post to be asserted to boosting your post up in like Google searches and so on and so forth. Click on this little to internal links. Take a brief overview of this where you see I don't have any internal links set yet, but that's where you set up your internal links. The external cloak. I don't have that set up yet either, but this is where you basically, um, you can take outside source links of different sites and paste them here and you can have certain pages implemented to look like your site. Basically, it's, it's very, very um, complicated for, for beginners, but um, it's basically just just an adjust of what I said. And um, I'm going to move on from here. I'm trying to have you get this over with. I'm not trying to waste, take up too much of you guys' time. Uh, right here, um, in role settings, you can enable role support, which you see I haven't done that yet. But... Um, and this right here, like it says, it says if you check, check if you want SEO processor, SEO presser to be restricted to certain roles. If disabled, everyone can use SEO processor. Now, this is for if I was to assign anyone else, like majority of people have done for me, uh, have assigned me to um, basically make changes to their sites. If they don't want me being able to make changes to this part right here of their site, they can restrict me here from me making changes to it, especially seeing that I'm not an admin. So that's, that's the gist of that. Um, make money, the basics, you know, Set up your uh, ClickBank account, uh, your affiliate link, color. You can add your processor attribute links to show now. I, yeah, I went and checked those things off because uh, this is the same thing. This is the same link that I use for um, my affiliation for uh, InstaBuilder also. So uh, I'm going to use this also in association with my SEO processor with me saving this change. And a lot of my posts, the SEO processor link for advertising, it will show up at the bottom of my post. And if people click on that, I get a commission-based payoff of it directly into my PayPal account, just for future references. Last thing here was support. And as you see, it's basically just taking you to the site for SEO processor. If you feel like something's wrong, hold on, SEO processor support is moved. Really? That's not good. Oh, but it's all the information is here. If you do need support, they have a tutorial page right here located here and so on and so forth. Now, we're going to come back up here to dashboard. Brief overview of the dashboard. Before we leave out of here, like I told you guys earlier, I'm going to show you in the pages where you can basically set up the grades for your SEO processor. 
right here in this section right here as you see it says SEO processor score right here you can type in your keywords which right now let me type in see what it says it's only one word you have one keyword in bold you have no keywords in italic that's crap because everything I typed is in italic so we're just gonna like uh, ignore some of what this grade says it's partially right but like I said this is where you go to grade and see how sufficient all your keywords is and what it does is like it says uh, it checks to see what if this keyword is bold if it's uh, in italic if this keyword is underlined you do not have keyword in h1 tag you don't have keyword in h2 tag you don't have keyword in h3 tag so on and so forth well i just picked the first bold word that i seen picked it out and this was the grade they gave me on it but that's where you do all the grading on that and uh before i get out of here i'm also going to show you guys this this area right here is the image that will show up when you post the link to this page on social media whatever link you put right whatever image you put here is the image that's going to show up with your link when you post it on facebook or twitter or um linkedin and um on that note everyone i appreciate you guys for stepping in and looking at this video i will be posting more videos on wordpress and other different uh web-based platforms also i will be posting a couple um videos on setting up the best basically now nah, i'm not going to say that not setting up the best but setting up facebook ads and getting the best results you can out of those facebook ads until next time i am carleon jones you can reach me at carleonjones.com or you can link with me on facebook at carleon jones uh my facebook fan page is facebook.com forward slash carleon jones com and that's carleon jones com with a capital k and a capital j com you can reach me at twitter at jones underscore carleon my instagram is online entrepreneur until next time everyone like i said carleon jones here signing out peace love and success to everyone